Hi, everybody. My name is Jack. I'm a compulsive overeater. I weigh measure three meals a day off the gray sheet. I write those meals down. Call them into my qualified gray sheet sponsor abstinence today is the most important thing in my life without exception. My abstinence date is February 1st, 2020. And what a gift. I'm seeing people here that I remember from the 2006 Austin retreat. And it's what a wonderful fellowship we have. I didn't know we always had that because it wasn't because of my ego or I just came from AA and OA 90. And I just thought I got, you know, all of that um, mouth to mouth resuscitation from my AA group, so to speak. And things have changed so much that uh, over these years that um, this fellowship uh, and all the great she'd have to offer, offer has given me a life that is just incredible. I just got done uh, mowing our lawn and uh, I love doing that. And it's hot here. I'm in Florida, uh, Fort Myers. And, um, you know, I have the capacity to uh, uh, do a lot of things that I probably wouldn't be able to do at 76 years old um, because of my gracious abstinence. And um, so... When I first got to Gray Sheet, um, it was, uh, there had been a, a, a Gray Sheeter from Cambridge who came to Brattleboro, Vermont, and I was doing OA 90. <clears throat> and uh, I was sober a while at that time. And uh, the woman kept on sharing the meeting because nobody had 90 days. And in order to speak or chair or anything, you had to have 90 days in OA 90. And uh, she was handing out these uh, phone bridge things, uh, uh, formats and sheets. And uh, she was bringing people in from Cambridge and Keene, New Hampshire and Orange, uh, Massachusetts. And just, it, it was just incredible. And uh, Peterborough, New Hampshire. And, um, she brought this uh, one woman over this one time. She was about four foot nine and her husband was with her and uh, she just was amazing. And, and they were both amazing. Uh, the husband, the wife, uh, our chairperson, and they just had something different. And uh, I, I remember going to the retreat. I had checked it out with the person who, uh, had came uh, going to the 2006 Austin retreat. I'd gone to the person and asked her about it. And she said, go, go, go. You'll love it. <clears throat> and uh, so I, what happened for me was I start going to Peterborough and uh, this woman started taking my food. Her name was Sally. And uh, uh, one day after about six months, I, I just couldn't get it. I mean, I, I just... You know, I, I didn't know, uh, I think my, I, I, I'm a runner, I'm an athlete, and I could knock the weight off that way. So I think I still had power around my weight and uh, the progression of this disease. And uh, that's my own opinion now. And, uh, and slowly but surely, I started to lose that. And uh, she said, we can't help you here, Jack. And uh, she gave me directions to uh, Cambridge, Massachusetts. And I went there. And from Putney, Vermont to there, it was about two and a half hour drive each way. And I loved it. She told me, when you get there, come in, get a, a half hour early, sit up front, shut up, realize that these people are really trying to save your life, Jack. And uh, when I got there, the place was packed. I mean, people were sitting on the windowsills. The chairs were filled. The greeter uh, told me to sit up front. And uh, the woman who spoke, uh, who I became very close with, um, said, if you want to know why you ate, stop eating. And she said, it's the only thing that has allowed her to reparent herself. And I identified with that. Um, my mother had... Uh, 
committed suicide. I've been in orphanages and Catholic reform school and things like that. And so that really appealed to me. And so I started driving down each week and going to the water town meeting during the week. And then I would stay for a week or a month. And, you know, I, I loved it. I was absent about oh, a little under five years. I left, left for six years, gained about 140 pounds, diabetes, the whole deal. Um, and uh, I had people calling me. I had a sick child. I had two sick children. And um, I just have let, I left everything. I, 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 I couldn't talk about what was happening. Uh, it wasn't shame or anything like that. I didn't know how to talk about it. And there was no playbook uh, for my youngest child who was transitioning from female to male. And uh, there was just no playbook for it. And it was an uphill battle. And after six years, um, People from Gracie was still calling me, and um, uh, I was walking. I, I got a letter, and I was walking across the room, and my son Forrest was there, and uh, he had a beer out, and I was about twenty eight years sober, and I picked up the beer and I drank it, and uh, I'm back now ten years in AA, but I mean, and a couple of old timers called me. Uh, and uh, they brought me to the VA hospital. And uh, I got absent for over five years. A lot of service. This disease, Sally used to say that uh, uh, the mental illness, the build and forget her is the mental illness. And I guess that's what I had. I, I certainly love Gray Shooters Anonymous. Um, I loved it. And I left... Uh, for six months and uh, I came back and I've been absent now a little over four years. And what Gray Sheet has given me, um, I, I can't really, you know, recently I was, I, I, I'm a writer. I was just published by uh, a group of uh, people in an anthology. They asked me to write these three stories and um, I did, uh, you know, I just got married about five months ago. Uh, my wife and I moved from Connecticut to Florida. Um, uh, we're here about eight months now. Um, I just love my life today. And um, so I have to be very, very careful about uh, this time, this four years, it was almost five years and five years. And it's scary to me. Uh, I get on a lot of meetings. I do service. Um, uh, recently, uh, when I was in Connecticut, uh, I had a head injury in Vietnam. And uh, I would get migraines. And uh, they would give me these shots up and down my head, my neck, my back. And a neurologist, a neurosurgeon, and um, uh, it, it had been nine months from West Haven, Connecticut, to uh, Fort Myers, Florida. So I just got those shots the other day, and it's really great. But it allowed me to go through those motions, that pain of it. <clears throat> uh, during the course of uh, my absences, I've, I've done two yoga teacher trainings. Uh, I was in a yoga class yesterday and uh, another Marine was uh, leading the group, which was really great. Um, they do the, um, uh, the aerobic, the, uh, the, the flying yoga here, whatever I've been doing, the flying yoga and uh, I've been having fun and um, I don't know, uh, you know, I, I've lost all the weight. Uh, the big, it, that's 10 minutes. Oh, thanks so much, Stacey. You, you know, I didn't know how to fit here before. I didn't know how to fit anywhere. And, um, you know, today I, I just, I don't have to fit. 
I am here. You know, this is a disease. It's not a disgrace. And I don't know. I just, um, it has brought me to a place of uh, not only right size, but uh, right order. Um, seeing the goodness in other people. You know, it's, you know, it wasn't that I was so pessimistic or cynical, but I was afraid to trust. And this is what this fellowship has given me, the ability to trust. Uh, I mean, 41 years ago, I shot myself in the chest. That bullet is still in me. Uh, yeah, locked up in locked wards, five-point restraints. Um, committed to the VA hospital. Uh, by the state and the federal government in Massachusetts. So, I mean, that was 40 years ago. And fast forward to today. And all I want to do is have a, I'm thinking of my lunch already. I know what I'm going to eat. I know I'm, I'm going to cook it. And, uh, you know, my life is lighter. My son, Forrest, who uh, just came back from California, he's an alcoholic. He has a sponsor on Father's Day. He spoke for his 90 days in AA. Uh, the place that he's going to, I helped build uh, 38 years ago. And it's, it's a real turnaround. And uh, I have two other children that are doing well. And um, I sponsor, I have a wonderful sponsor. I have a prayer partner. Um, I meditate. Uh, I do the steps. Uh, I bring people through, the other men through the steps. I also lead a back to basics. We're going to start that back up in September. Um, you know, but it's a day at a time for me. Uh, about a month ago, uh, we had something happen in our family and I was walking by something and a sugary item caught my eye. Now, I don't have the, the craving, but I had the obsession for about a day. And I'm not talking about a real bad upset. I'm thinking it was on my mind. And, uh, but I talked about it. I, I told people, every meeting I was on, I was telling people, I've been thinking about the food, you know? And that's what I need to do. I need to let you know where I am. Um, and um, so anyway, uh, uh, I love Gray Sheeters Anonymous. Uh, you have all done for me in, in incredible, incredible ways. Uh, what not only what I can't do for myself, but in your own abstinence, your own attraction to me for you, whether you're day one or 40 some years, whatever that is, it, you know, what brings us here is, is just this. Uh, I mean, I could, I know I could have missed this by a hair. And, uh, you know, to get to Gray Sheet and to meet like minded people who know this is life and death and uh, who support uh, my abstinence and, and my way of life. It might not be their way of life, but, you know, I still feel the support. Thanks so much. Stacy, and with one minute left, uh, I just got to say that um, uh, Gray Sheet has given me a life that's second to none. I thank you all. I love you all, no matter what.